about this. And so, yeah, no Big L, no. I mean, if you're going to like, because some of these guys on here don't got no hits. I know they can rap. I know they can spit. But some of these guys on here don't got no hits. So how do you judge who's on the top 50th rappers? Because there's some guys here that never had a hit. And so what are we basing it on? Lyrics? So why isn't Big L on there? Why isn't, uh, you know, and this is the problem when you try to make this list. But I, the only point I'm trying to make to you is this is not law. You know, back in the day, somebody would make this list and say, it's law, it is what it is. It's not law. It's not what it is. It's people's opinion. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in, and we got Fat Joe calling out Billboard for leaving Big Al on the top 50 best rappers list that they put out. And I'm not exactly sure what this list is consisted of, because it can't be lyricists, because you have Jadakiss ranked lower than Gucci Man, and we all know that Jadakiss can out-rap Gucci Man, and that's not, even Gucci Man would say that. But if it's based off of who's hotter, I would definitely say Gucci Man is hotter than Jadakiss, but at the same time, you have Dr. Dre and uh, Missy Elliott ranked even higher. And we know that they're not actively putting music out currently. So I'm not mad at the list as far as who's named on there. I'm just confused on the order that they have them in, more so per se. And you do got other rappers that are upset about it, like Ja Rule and Lil Bow Wow. And, you know, Ja Rule... We all love and respect Ja, but you know, I don't think nobody's ever looked at him as their favorite rapper, and that's in no disrespect. It's just, I just never connected with Ja like that, but I do, you know, like some of the hits he put out in Bow Wow. You know, he came out making kid music and the whole Ghost Rider thing and things like that. I just think nobody respected Bow as a rapper and he just never evolved like that. You know, like how when Lil Wayne came out, you know, he used to rap a certain way, you know, with the Hot Boys. Then, he, you know, his style changed. He started evolving, adapting. I think that's where he went right versus Lil Bow Wow who kind of just stayed in his own box per se. So, like I said before, I don't know how they have this list based off of it. If it's catalog, if it's being hot, if it's lyrics, it's, it's confusing. Because obviously Big L, if this was a top lyricist list, then yeah, Big L definitely should be in the top 50, that's for sure. And you know, I expect Fat Joe to uh, keep Big L's memory alive because, you know, they was in a group together as far as I know. I believe it was called DITC, which stood for Digging in the Crates. I'm not too familiar. I mean, shoot, I'm a 90s baby, so... You know, that was before my time. But let me know in the comments how you feel about it, if you agree or disagree. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.